welcome to another video. I started this channel a while ago with the hopes of obviously growing it into something where I can share my ideas on fashion, share the things I design and make, and quite recently I've just decided that it is time to really commit to releasing one video a week. So here we go with the first installment, let's talk fashion. I moved on to a boat in 2020, post-COVID. I think a lot of people had some crazy ideas and pursued different lifestyles. It's quite rare, I think, for someone to live in a tiny home, be very obsessed and in love with fashion and style, and then choose to have a limited space with which to pursue that in. It's very difficult, obviously, making things and navigating, having a stylish wardrobe with hardly anywhere to keep it. When we initially decided that the boat was definitely what we were going to do and how we were going to live, I really looked into my wardrobe quite seriously and also my relationship with fashion and decided it was time to really minimize things. I definitely went down the route of watching a lot of minimal fashion content, capsule wardrobe things, and basically sold almost everything I had, kept a few classic, very basic pieces, and thought that's how it was gonna be. Not so much now, a few, a year and a bit later, I have realized that is not me and so here are five things that I have learned in trying to have a minimal wardrobe. The first issue in trying to minimize my wardrobe was that once I had taken it down to the bare minimum and I'm talking a few jumpers, some t-shirts, some jeans and some coats, that kind of thing, it was really a capsule wardrobe. The first issue I experienced was that it didn't fulfill me and I don't think I'm ever going to stop wanting new things. Now that I've come to terms with that, I've decided to try and find a solution to that issue. The best thing I can say in trying to curb the habits of feeling that your wardrobe is lacking is just practice makes perfect. I don't know how to say it any other way. Find a uniform for yourself that is easy to put together and wear it on the regular. So I know that I feel good in a blazer, a t-shirt and jeans. That is my go-to. I know I feel good when I try and veer away from that. I end up maybe not liking my outfit that day or I feel like I'm just not true to my own personal style. Knowing your style is also key but we get there from wearing the same things over and over and that sense of feeling good continuously means there's less room for you to start thinking about the gaps or maybe that you are missing something and that you need something new. The second thing I learned in having a minimal wardrobe or at least trying to was there's this idea out there that a capsule wardrobe would have a great coat, a great jumper, a great pair of jeans or one in black, one in blue, one in white, very small amounts of things. But what I've really found is that listening to what other people need or this generic idea of a capsule wardrobe doesn't really fit everybody. And if you're a little bit more creative and you like to experiment a lot more with your style, it's just not really enough. And that leads to what I said before, feeling like your wardrobe is lacking. So I've really found that it's better for me to have multiples of the things that I love and they're not necessarily basics. I have multiple blazers because I know I could wear essentially the same pair of jeans and the same t-shirt day in and day out and just change up my blazer and perfect. The same with footwear or accessories. I have realized I can't just deal with having one pair of shoes for walking, one pair of heels, one pair of sandals, Sandals and one pair of boots. I need a few extras and having those things means that I actually have less clothing items but more accessories, more outerwear uh, in the form of blazers and things like that and that really works for me. The third thing that I've learned is letting go is hard. Initially scaling down my whole wardrobe was hard, saying goodbye to things, holding them in your hand, thinking oh but I may wear this, I'm not too sure if I want to let it go. It's difficult. In the same vein, not getting new things is difficult. And let me just be honest, I get new things all the time. I will speak about how I shop and how I do that sustainably in another video. Trying to minimize the amount of new things that we bring into our wardrobes is difficult. Understanding our relationship to things is key and then also being realistic about what we really wear. So this ties into knowing your personal style. The key is to minimize where you can. I've realized that I find over the top things, fashion tops, 
bright colors, big bold prints, that sort of thing, very difficult to style. I find dresses difficult to style uh, and layer. For me, I think other people do it brilliantly. So know what you love and then be okay with having only that and owning that style. When I feel drawn to a new trend or something with a lot of frills or very feminine or lacy or anything or something with mesh or whatever the new thing is or that I see the influences wearing. I look at it, I appreciate, but I know that it would be a thing that I would wear one time and then it would frustrate me that it's taking up space in my already tiny wardrobe. The fourth thing that I have learned is that trying to be something you're not is really difficult. There is a bird in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. Joys of living on a boat. In trying to dress more minimally and have fewer pieces, I really just realized that I didn't feel like myself or I was left wanting. It ties into all these points. I mean, they're all really connected. It's great to listen to other contents out there or watch other influencers or content creators or people that are stylists and that talk about style, but trying to adopt exactly what they do doesn't necessarily work. I really do try and dress like myself and I don't wait for occasions. I try and dress like my inner rock star every day. When I say rock star, I'm not going out in like Gwen Stefani level things. I'm just wearing what I feel is bold enough for me to say something to the world about who I want them to see me as or who I really am and showing that with my style. I do that whether I'm going to the supermarket on a Saturday, chilling at home or going to the office. I really just take the opportunity to get dressed all the time which reaffirms my own personal style which means I'm just being who I am and not getting caught up in feeling like I'm lacking because I don't have perfect minimal style or I am not looking like what everyone else looks like. The fifth and final point that I'm going to share with you about what I learned in trying to have a minimal wardrobe is that styling is key. I worked as a stylist previously in South Africa uh, in commercial fashion and so I definitely know how to be one but it's a little bit different when you're trying to navigate what your own personal style is and styling for yourself never mind living on a boat now thrown into the mix of things. I need looks for an office setting when I go to work and then I also need things that are very practical for my lifestyle. Across all the things that I wear or whatever I'm dressing for whatever I'm doing on that day there are five key Another five, I know, I don't know why I've numbered everything, but you know, everyone's doing it. There are five little styling tips and tricks that I do within my wardrobe that I feel is quite small for me to keep it interesting and make me feel like I have lots to play with. The first one is to style monochromatically and this little trick I mostly use when I'm wearing more casual things. So if I'm just wearing a shirt and a pair of shorts for like a summer day out on the boat, out on the river or something like that. I match the items, whether it's matching the prints or wearing top to toe one color, be it black or beige or something like that. Wearing top to toe one color makes me feel really put together and interesting. The second thing I do, and probably the most important and the one I love the most, is to update secondhand purchases. I'll pop a link below to my website. This is what I do as my little side hustle. I upcycle men's shirts and blazers you might have seen. I wear these things. They make me feel endlessly great and interesting whenever I wear something that I've adapted and changed. The smallest little detail on a classic item can just elevate a whole look, especially when the core pieces of that are really basic. Being a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans or something, just adding in something with a little bit of interesting detail really lifts things. Third thing is balancing proportion. I sometimes feel very basic in a t-shirt and maybe a straighter pair of jeans. There's no real shape being created by the clothing. I definitely like to layer whether it's oversized shirts or oversized blazer to create some volume. It makes me feel a little bit more bold and really adds to the look and makes me feel a little bit dressed up even though Essentially, the pieces are very simple and classic. Layering, this is not a new thing. Everyone does it. Layering, almost everything, almost every outfit I wear really makes me feel great. I can be lounging out on the boat just in a casual pair of trousers and a t-shirt like I am now. If I'm popping out the door, popping on a shirt, popping on a blazer, just adding that third element in can really lift a look. I definitely make a point to do that, even if I am wearing something basic. And finally, 
adding accessories. I love a good pair of sunglasses. I have quite a collection and I don't feel bad in having quite a few pairs because they're small. They don't take up a lot of space. I feel okay with housing them in my small wardrobe on this boat. I also play with my jewellery. So I wear the same type of jewellery. It's all silver or gold hoops. But I have a little case full of loads of gold earrings that I love. And I mix them up. I wear them asymmetrically. And so even if I'm wearing something really simple, there's just that little bit of extra something different happening that I feel makes me feel like I'm a little bit more creative in my outfit. And that is the end of you listening to me wax on about what I learned in trying to have a minimal wardrobe. I think there's a lot happening in the world and it's very difficult to navigate and wonder if you're doing the right thing and feel good about it. There's definitely some negative aspects to the whole fashion thing. So hopefully in sharing this, I can just add my little tidbits to what's out there and hopefully it's interesting to some of you.